stitch I'm showing you now is a lazy daisy. We're going to come up where we want the point of our petal to be, so not the rounded part. We're going to go back down as close to A as possible. You may not want to be exactly in it. And then we're going to slide the needle however long you want your petal to be. And I'm going to come up and make sure that my thread is under the needle. I'm going to pull the loop up and then I'm just going to tack it down by going down over the top of my loop. Lazy daisies are good for flower petals, they're good for the small leaves. So if I want to make a flower, I would come up again down here towards the center and back down really close to where I came up. I'm sliding my needle under the fabric to however long I want that petal to be. Make sure your thread is under the needle. Pull it up till you're happy with your loop and tack it down. You can vary the length of your petals. I mean, they can be really small. So again, I'm going down right next to where I came up. And this time I'm making my petal much shorter. My thread is under my needle. You don't have to pull it up like that, but it's easier to show you. Pull it up and tack it down. You can play with how tight you want to pull them. You can also play with, with how long your tack stitch is. So again, I'm coming up where my point's going to be. Going down right next to it, pulling it up and tacking it down. I don't usually have long stitches up here on the top. I kind of want my tack stitches to hide, but I'm working with a tripod in my way to try to film this, so it's a little bit harder for me to see than it usually would be. So again, up, down really close to where I came up, slide the needle to where you want the length of your stitch, threads under it, and tack it down. And, and that is the Lazy Daisy.